Uh, today's Sweet Tooth Day. So we're going to make a lemon icebox refrigerator pie with a graham cracker crust. And we're going to start off with 8 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese that's been softened like this. And the softer it's supposed to be room temperature, when you start to blend it, it'll blend better if it's at room temperature or a little bit warmer. Because it doesn't blend very good when it's cold. Okay. So, okay, we got it going now. You can see it's all blending good. You just get it blended enough to where there's no lumps or cakes or stuff like that in it. Okay, that's good. And now to this, I'm going to add a can of Eagle Brand milk. Don't be looking for no diet if you're eating this stuff, because it ain't going to happen. <laughs> but it's good. Sometimes I just sweeten coffee with it. We got cream and sugar right there together. Taste the whole can. Now this is my 100% favorite pie from my youth that she's always made. Now you pour it in with the cream cheese. I'm going to blend some more until it gets nice and fluffy. You start it off on sort of low until you begin to get the cream cheese mixed with it. Now make sure you get it blended real well. Okay, that's pretty much blended good. Now to this, we're going to add a third cup of lemon juice. And you can use the juice of a lemon, as long as you got a third cup of lemon juice. Whether it's reconstituted or, well this is 100% lemon juice. If it's in the bottle or the regular lemon, as long as you get a third cup. Okay. It's going into our cream cheese and Eagle Brand milk. Back with the mixer. We're going to mix this up. Sort of turn your mixer around to get it underneath where it won't sling out all over you. Then once you get the lemon juice down in it, you can turn it up higher. And that's about it. Y'all, as you can see, this is so, so easy to make, and you'll wow your family with this recipe, trust me. Like I see, I mean, you can even tell it's pretty thick in the bowl, but it's got to go in the refrigerator for at least two hours, or maybe three. Just put it in the uh, top over, push it in the refrigerator, and as hard as it is, forget about it <laughs> <laughs> for about two to three hours, and then you can have yourself a piece of pie. But first, we're going to use a, a pre-made uh, Keebler cracker crust today. This is, this is faster, and I've got another recipe to make with the graham cracker crumb. So this is the easy way today to making the icebox pie. I think it has to be refrigerated now. And it's got its own little lid. Okay. Right there's what you're going to be eating. So now we're going to take our cream cheese filling. And it's going into the little pie crust that we've already got fixed. And break all of your filling in it. I guess to me, this is the simplest pie I've ever made. And I haven't really seen many people that didn't like this pie. So we're going to spread this out. See, it's pretty thick right now, but it's going to get a whole lot thicker. Once it hits the refrigerator, that's the reason they call it an icebox pie. Because all it's setting up is done in the icebox. The refrigerator, whatever you want to call it. When I was a little girl, we had ice boxes. There's a box with a hunk of ice in it. Oh, the real deal. 
There was no uh, ice cube tray. There was none of that when I was little. Mm -hmm. As the years went on, they got smarter and more stuff was being created. So we got this now. It's going to the refrigerator. Now you're going to put chairs on now? or No, you're going to wait till it sets up. When it sets up, that will be solid. Okay. And then we're going to take it out and open our cherry pie filling and pour on top of it. Okay. Or you can eat it just like it is. Now I've got a granddaughter that eats it just like this. You don't put nothing on it. It's just that good. All right, so I'll be right back. Just a spoon. Okay, everybody. We're back. Our pie has cooled to where now we're going to add some cherry. Some people add cherries. Some add blueberries. Just to make sure it says cherry pie filling or blueberry pie filling. You don't need the one that's got the water in it. It's got to be pie filling. So our pie is cool and it's uh, chilled out. So now we're going to dip some cherries on it. Well, that brings back memories there now. This is like a cherry, mm, cherry icebox lemon pie. Or if you had blueberries, it could be a blueberry icebox pie. Whatever you want to put on the top of it. And you don't really have to put nothing on it. You can eat it just like it is. That's the way my oldest granddaughter, she likes to just eat the pie. She don't care about the cherries or the blueberries. But she can eat a lot of that pie by itself. Yeah, I'm telling you, family would love this. Surprise them with it. It's so, so simple to make. It's really pretty at the holidays, especially Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners. That's when I do a lot of stuff like this. Because the majority of my family's home for the holidays. Or they will stop by to eat if they want mama's <laughs> <laughs> You got that right. And that's about all the cherries I'm going to put on it because you're putting a cherry, it's got a good flavor to it, but you're a whole lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> Please eat this sparingly. It will make you sick if you eat enough. <laughs> okay, everybody, there you go. One of my favorite desserts from my childhood. Any final thoughts, Mama? Well, I've enjoyed doing this for y'all, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a pleasant day, and God bless everyone.